What if your first design draft wasn't a draft? That's the question I found myself asking after trying Google's new Stitch design tool. One prompt, a few seconds, and suddenly layouts, buttons, interactions, all sketched out. Not perfect, but surprisingly usable. So in this video, I'm testing it on a real feature from my iOS app to see if it actually helps me move faster or just faster to scrap. Hey, I'm Daniel. I build iOS apps solo using Swift UI, and I work a lot with tools like Cursor, Claude, and GPT to speed things up and stay focused. If that sounds like your vibe, feel free to hit subscribe. I share how I actually use these tools in real workflows, what's, um, what works, what doesn't, uh, and how I'm building indie apps from idea to app store. And if you've got thoughts on what you're seeing, I'd love to hear them. Drop a comment below or DM me on Instagram at solo swift crafter. All right, so let's talk about this new thing Google dropped at IO Stitch. If you haven't seen it yet, Stitch is basically an AI design assistant that runs on Gemini 2.5 Pro. But unlike your typical design tool, this one's aiming to sit in that in-between space between your napkin sketch idea and a real functional UI layout. And honestly, as someone who builds solo, handling everything from UX to Swift UI code, tools like this are super interesting to me because we all know that getting from an idea to something visual can be weirdly slow. You've got to sketch, maybe jump into Figma, second guess how stuff should be grouped or aligned, and eventually wire it up in Xcode. Stitch is like, what if you could just describe what you want and have it rendered in front of you, ready to explore and tweak? So I decided to test it with something real. If you've seen my previous videos, I've been working on session flow. And one of the core parts I've been designing is this idea of a session flow tab where users can run focus sessions for productivity. It's part Pomodoro, part custom workflow with a bit of visual feedback. So I'm just gonna paste the PMR overview as a prompt. Create a sessions tab that allows users to easily launch or build focused time management workflows. The goal is to provide a frictionless experience with delightful visuals and persistent access to active sessions. Before clicking generate design, I make sure to select mobile uh, since this is for my iOS app. And I switch from standard mode to experimental mode. That gives us access to designs generated with Gemini 2.5 Pro, which should be higher fidelity. Once everything's set, I hit generate. And now we wait to see what Stitch gives us with just that basic input. Let's see what happens when you go from words to interface. No sketches, no wireframes just one sentence and an AI that's supposed to understand what you mean. So yeah, I'm impressed. And honestly, it made me stop for a second. Like a year ago, this would have felt impossible. You tell a model your idea and it just gives you a full UI to explore. That's wild. It's not just about speed. It's changing how I think about the early stages of app building. That messy idea to interface part that usually takes hours, even if that was not exactly what I had in mind, I'm pretty impressed that in one shot, Stitch gave me so much. We've got everything. You can start a session directly. There's an active session widget at the bottom and it even generated a three tab layout. All of that without me asking for it. It's quite different from what I pictured, but honestly, I like it. 
And as someone who's built a couple of time management apps before, I can tell you, this layout would have taken a while just to sketch out manually. The spacing, the alignment, the UX flow. It's all pretty solid for something AI generated, not perfect, but a great spark. And when I click edit, it sends a screenshot of the UI straight into the chat. Then if I click on that, it opens a little pop-up with the original prompt, the generated code, and an export button. Super smooth flow. So right after that moment, I sat there just kind of staring at the screen like, okay, this is kind of wild. I started asking myself, what, do you, what does this actually change? For indie devs like us, is this just a neat trick or is this a legit shift in how we approach uh, design? Because honestly, this layout could have taken me a full evening to sketch out manually, not just the visual part, but thinking through interactions, structure, flow. Instead, I get this working blueprint in seconds though, and it's editable. Now, obviously, I wouldn't ship this UI as is. There are details I'd want to tweak, maybe rework some of the navigation decisions or spacing, but the raw output, it's inspiring. It gives me a head start. And if you're like me, juggling design, development, marketing, having that kind of momentum matters. What I did next was just play. I dropped in a couple follow-up prompts asking it to add a settings button to change the color palette to group some controls differently. And it handled most of those well. Not perfect, but usable. And that's the thing. When you think of it as a co-designer rather than a final output generator, it's kind of amazing. Even just using it for ideation, like trying out layouts before I commit to anything in Swift UI, I can already tell it'll save me hours. And if you're a solo dev too, or building your first app, I think you'll get a lot out of this kind of tool. It helps you try ideas fast, like real whites, and maybe even think about your UI in ways you wouldn't have on your own. Like trying out layouts before I commit to anything in Swift UI, I can already tell it'll save me hours. This feels like what I hoped AI design tools would be back in 2023. Back then, everything was either too generic or too static. Stitch feels like it wants to work with you. And something else I noticed while screen recording this for you, you'll see it on the screen now. When, I, when you hover over the UI, these little blue outlines pop up showing exactly what each component is. That was super helpful for mentally mapping how I'd recreate this in Swift UI, or at least how I'd structure it. If you're watching closely on the right side of the screen here, you'll catch that bottom session widget. It was part of the generated layout, even though I never mentioned it. That kind of surprise when it's actually useful is where AI tools really start to feel like magic. When you hover over the UI, you get these little hotspots that show what each element is. You click and bam, you're inside the anatomy of the UI, and because the code's right there, I can start mentally mapping how I'd recreate this in Swift UI. Like, okay, what? That's a V stack. That's a tab view with a dot badge modifier. That's probably a custom button style. Uh, again, it's not production code, but it's a launch pad. And when I'm in that early phase, figuring out the vibe of a screen, this is perfect. Now here's the thing I keep thinking about. What if Apple had their own version of Stitch integrated directly in Xcode? You describe what you want, the, a setting screen with toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it gives you a Swift UI layout that follows Apple's human interface guidelines with all the right modifiers, animations, accessibility, that would be huge. I mean, they're halfway there with Swift Assist, right? But it's been missing in action since last dub dub. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see something this year. Something that closes the loop from code gen to visual design, because that's what Stitch really makes me think about. It's not just about building faster. It's about closing that gap between idea and execution. I'll probably do a follow-up soon, where I go back and forth with uh, Stitch in the chat, 
refine the prompt, maybe adjust a few layouts, and see if I can get something that matches the session flow design I already made myself, or maybe even something better. Not a full Swift UI rebuild, just using the chat and tweaks inside Stitch to shape the design into something I'd actually want to use. Maybe a rebuild of this exact layout in Swift UI just to see how far I can go. I'm curious how much of it can be mapped one to one and where I'd want to diverge and make it feel more like my own design. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. If you've tried Stitch or you're curious about using AI in your dev workflow, drop a comment or hit me up on Instagram at Solo Swift Crafter. That's it for this one. Thanks for sticking around. If this gave you a new idea or made you think a little differently about how you design your own apps, I'd love to hear it. Drop a comment or DM me on Instagram at Solo Swift Crafter. And if you've used a tool like this, Stitch Wizard or even AI and Figma, I'm super curious how you're using it. Prototyping, wireframes, let me know in the comments. I'm always down to learn how other indie devs are working about how you design your own apps. I'd love to hear it. Drop a comment or DM me on Instagram at Solo Swift Crafter. And if you want to follow along as I keep testing tools like this, building features and figuring things out in public, uh, hit subscribe. I've got another video coming soon where I rebuild this Stitch layout in Swift UI. Should be fun. All right, catch you in the next one. For me, Stitch isn't replacing design out, but it's definitely replacing blank screens. Peace.